How do billionaires in Pakistan live? The billionaire lifestyle. It's time we take a trip around the globe all the way to South Asia. What's it like to be over $1 billion in Pakistan? In today's video, we will uncover just what it is to live as a billionaire in the country of Pakistan. Who are the richest people there? How do they spend their money? Well, let's find out. Shahid Khan The richest man in Pakistan, who is the number one dollar man so to say, is Shahid Khan. He is worth a whopping $8.3 billion as of early 2022. The man who we can say is winning in real-life Monopoly is worth over three times what Donald Trump is currently worth, which is $2.5 billion. While most college kids are focused on just getting through the semester, Khan had the bright idea to start a company while he was still at the University of Illinois. The company mostly supplies automotive parts and it made revenue of $8.9 billion in 2020 alone. This allowed Mr. Shahid Khan to buy one of his dream cars, a 2.4 million Pagani Huayra. The car is an ultralight vehicle, weighing just over 2,820 pounds, which is pretty light for a supercar. It also has a solid 100% carbon fiber body as well as a one-of-a-kind titanium carbon fiber weave chassis. What stands out about the Pagani is that it is more than just a car. Buying a Pagani car means the company embraces you as one of the members in a tight-knit family of Pagani car owners. Shahid also likes to flex with a $4.5 million Lambo Venemo. The 6.5-liter V12 all-wheel drive gets Shahid from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. He can reach speeds of up to 229 miles per hour using this ride. Although he was born in Lahore, Pakistan, he became a United States citizen in 1991 and now splits his time between a huge estate in Champaign, Illinois and an $8.3 million residence in Chicago. He has a 360-degree view of the city from the 61st floor in one of Chicago's tallest buildings. This magnificent penthouse is one for the ages. When it comes to having a lot of money, people say you haven't made it until you make a big purchase in sports. One of his biggest buys is that of the Jacksonville Jaguars, an NFL team which he owns. No doubt he walks around the TIAA stadium with a sense of pride, given how much it took him to acquire such a wide array of assets. The 5'7 billionaire usually looks out of place when he occasionally joins the bulky NFL players for the national anthem. It is reported that he bought the Jacksonville Jags for an estimated $760 million back in 2011. His team is currently valued at $2.8 billion, which is the 28th most valuable team in the league. Shahid also dabbles in a different kind of football. He bought the English football team Fulham FC in the Premier League. He acquired the club from the Egyptian businessman Mohamed Al Fayed. Of course, these two teams weren't enough, and we all know three is a lucky number. In order to complete his collection, he invested $100 million into All Elite Wrestling along with his son and the current CEO of AEW, Tony Khan. All Elite Wrestling is currently worth $400 million and it is beginning to form a serious threat to Vincent McMahon's WWE empire which is worth a solid $5.71 billion. What's more, Shahid Khan also owns the 312-foot Kismet yacht, which has an eye-catching price tag of $200 million. You can tell the Kismet apart from other yachts by the Jaguar ornament on its bow. If you want to pretend to be Khan for a week, have a quick look at your bank account to see if you can afford a charter price of $1.2 million. The super couple Jay-Z and Beyonce rented his boat for their European getaway. In the Ryan Reynolds film Six Underground, you can see this yacht doing what it does best which is making the world seem a lot more beautiful. Anwar Pervez The second richest man in Pakistan is Anwar Pervez, who has a net worth of $4.5 billion. This billionaire is a former bus conductor who struck gold by founding the multinational conglomerate Best Way, which is on its way to becoming the second largest wholesaler in the United Kingdom. He is also a big name in the cement industry. All this money allows him to comfortably drive a $131,450 Mercedes-Benz S580. The 2021 Mercedes-Benz S580 is damn near the perfect luxury car, although styling is subjective. The S580's powertrain is nice and smooth. Under the hood is a 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 producing 496 horsepower and 516 pound-feet of torque, augmented by a 48-volt mild hybrid system that can throw another 21 HP. Not bad for someone who used to walk 8 miles to school every day back in the 1950s. 
When Anwar was made an officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1992, he began his long journey to superstardom. He received a knighthood from Queen Elizabeth in 1999, which made him become British royalty. Anwar Pervez moved to the United Kingdom in the 1950s at the age of 21 and began working as a bus driver in Bradford. He had enough money to introduce his other family members to Britain after serving as a driver for five years. The company also deals with the steel, banking, and pharmaceutical industries. In addition, he is also a major shareholder in United Bank Limited, or UBL. Sir Anwar is the UK's richest Pakistani, with $4.6 billion in net worth. Upon becoming royalty, Sir Anwar decided it was time to start driving like one. This is where his $240,000 Bentley Continental GT comes in. Sir Anwar has basically no expensive habits, and when asked about his hobbies, he simply replies, work. This is a good lesson for those of us who are aiming to become as rich as some of these guys. Saruddin Hashwani Saruddin Hashwani, best known for amassing his fortune from Pearl Continental Hotels and Resorts, is the third richest man in Pakistan. Mr. Saruddin Hashwani began trading cotton in 1960, and today his industrial group is one of the country's largest portfolio groups as diverse as real estate, oil and gas, hospitality, IT, ceramics, and pharmaceuticals. He's known today as the world's leading figures in the hospitality industry and has been awarded many prizes including a gold medal for distinguished services for the hospitality industry in Pakistan. He's the first Pakistani businessman to be honored with the Nishan Imtiaz honor in recognition of his outstanding service to his home country. Though he may be a big spender, he likes to keep details about his personal life private. He's one of the few people in Pakistan who can afford the shiny $2 million Mediterranean house in Pakistan. The mansion has five bedrooms, six bathrooms, two kitchens, a storeroom, and servant quarters. This is not all there is to the house. There is a theater room as well as a swimming pool and roof garden. $2 million is not too bad a price, given that a house of similar size in Buckinghamshire, England would cost a price tag of $7 million. Mian Mansha we can't make a list like this without talking about the fourth richest man in Pakistan, Mian Mansha. This man owns the Muslim Commercial Bank or MCB, one of the country's most lucrative private banks. He is also the founder and CEO of the Nishat Group, a multinational company centered in Lahore. The Nishat Group also worked with Hyundai Motor in Pakistan to assemble Japanese vehicles. Mian Mansha also owns the Adamji Group. Nishat Chuni and Power and Nishat Company, DG Khan Cements, and transportation related investments. He has also invested in Pakistan's large scale infrastructure projects, such as seaports and energy generation. As a CEO of his company, he has the final say with over $30 billion in assets belonging to the company. Mansha was the first ever billionaire in Pakistan. In a country of over 200 million people, it is outstanding to be the first ever in anything, especially being the first billionaire. Unlike many other billionaires, Mian Mansha does not like to brag about his wealth, but we do know for sure that he drives a range of supercars with a lot of class. For example, his Canary yellow E-Class Jaguar convertible, which he bought in London as far back as the 1960s. The same car would be worth $250,000 in today's money. His love of the Jaguar continues to this very day, as a 74-year-old enjoys a $86,000 Caldera Red F-Type Jaguar convertible with his family. He also has three Mercedes, a vintage Volkswagen Vito which originally cost $1,665, a $174,000 Porsche 911 Turbo, a $183,000 Range Rover, and a $103,000 triple extra-large BMW 750i with the rear executive lounge seating package. I'm sure when the banking juggernaut takes to the skies, it's in a $5 million single-engine turboplane or an $8 million mid-size 8-seater jet. He spends a lot of time planning and strategizing. In his own words, a journey's greatest danger is in tough terrain. It's weak planning. The tycoon spends his money on a bunch of other little things that help him learn other life lessons in big ways. As you can see, the life of a Pakistani billionaire is as luxurious as they come. These individuals know how to spend money for their comfort, and no doubt, wherever this money is to be spent, you will find them there. These individuals are so rich, they do not have to worry about money for another moment in their lives. What do you think about these super rich Pakistani billionaires? Tell us in the comments. That's it for this video. See you in the next one.